Thanos is an absolute menace for many, many reasons. I mean, the guy will take one day out of every year of his life to just torture one guy on his birthday to make sure his life is a living hell just because he can do it. Then there was also one instance where he walked an old lady across the street for so long that a young lady in a city bus never figured out the cure to cancer or any other medical advancements. And then there's also the pretty obvious one that we all know where Thanos collects all six infinity stones in an effort to wipe out half of existence to please the love of his life, death. Now most of the time collecting all infinity stones ends up leading to the Mad Titan's downfall and take for instance the story I'm about to tell you where this entire story is about him trying to collect the reality stone, as Thanos reaches out calling to the stone, demanding the stone to reveal itself, until out of the corner of his eye an army of deadly insects rapidly flies towards Thanos, with Thanos firing the gauntlet at the insect army until an interdimensional gateway opens above him, with another Thanos appearing tackling the present Thanos, demanding the present Thanos to give him the infinity gauntlet because he knows where the final stone is, but the present Thanos so power hungry tries to kill the future Thanos to learn the reality stone's location, but the two trade blow after blow refusing to cooperate, until the present Thanos ridicules the future Thanos that the only reason he went back in time was because he was too much of a coward to fight, as the future Thanos tells the present Thanos that if he doesn't give him the gauntlet, they'll both die, saying that the Nova Corps is already on the move and if they keep bickering, they'll lose the reality stone as he accidentally spills the location of the stone, to which the present Thanos blasts a hole in future Thanos' chest, where he would then fly up into the sky to try and reach the stone in time. Later, Thanos would land where the reality stone was held in the heart of a volcano, seeing a group of Nova Corps members with one of them challenging Thanos, possessing the reality stone already. But Thanos laughs in the face of the Nova Corps, shooting an energy beam at the few Nova Corps members, as the Nova Corps members try to manipulate the reality stone into making his attacks fruitless, even trying to erase Thanos from existence, but to no effect due to missing the other stone. So in a last ditch effort, the Nova Corps would try to develop a mech suit to fight off Thanos, and the mech suit would stand a significant chance against Thanos for a while, and eventually one of the members would get the idea to try and push Thanos out of their reality. However, in trying to push Thanos out of reality, a massive explosion would occur taking down most of the Nova Corps members, except for one last soldier as she'd quickly find the reality stone after getting up, only for Thanos to fly down telling the girl that she'd put up more of a fight than anyone else on his journey, but it's time to claim what's his. But the Nova soldier stands her ground, so Thanos makes a deal that if she gives him the stone, he will spare her family, to which the soldier accepts and tosses the infinity stone to Thanos, with Thanos starting to freak out that it's finally happening as he's fought and struggled for so long, and after so much fighting, the world will now bow at his feet, and Thanos shall no longer fear death, as he is now the wielder of all six infinity stones, until in the middle of all of his gloating, the gauntlet starts eating away at Thanos, while the Nova Corps soldier mocks Thanos and tells him that the stone she gave him wasn't the reality stone after all, and instead was an all new stone that she created called the Death Stone, specifically created to look exactly like the reality stone, as she then asks Thanos who was it again that was weak, with nothing said back other than the stones hitting the ground and Thanos' ashes blowing in the wind ending the story. Now I hope you all like the story and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.